Okay, I ended up hooking up with a girl dressed as a corn on the cob. Okay, so Francis Bull, how are you? I'm very well. Good. Um, so, what? Why? Why the book? Why did you decide to write a book? Well, I've written books actually for a long time. Um, just none of them have been published. Um, so I wrote a book. And um, actually, they didn't publish that one either, but they asked me to write a sort of slightly different one. So I wrote a slightly different one. What was the original one that you wrote? More very serious about oh. business. Oh, okay. <laughs> about how to make millions. Um, billions. But, um, yeah, so, um, so this is more of a, basically, a lifestyle guidebook, right? An inspirational lifestyle guidebook. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so there are a few things from the book that we felt needed a bit of further clarification. Um, clearly, everyone needs a bucket list, but there are several things that you've already done that we thought sounded quite interesting. That okay. We'd quite like to hear more about. Um, hooking up with someone dressed as a corn on the cob. Yeah, I hooked up with someone dressed as a corn on the cob. Please tell us how this happened. So I was at Durham um, visiting my friends who were at uni there, and. Um, <laughs> I was at a, a club called Clute. Okay, I ended up hooking up with a girl dressed as a corn on the cob who turned out to be basically there as a reunion thing. She was actually she graduated a few years earlier, but she was still dressed as a corn on the cob, which is... Was there any reasoning behind the costume? Or was it I just... don't know why she was dressed as a corn on the cob, but... Um, oh yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> Going into too much detail here. Um, so, I... Uh, yeah. I did do that. Okay, interesting. Went back to her hotel room. And then eventually got walked in on by her other friends who were dressed as other vegetables. <laughs> Why vegetables? Why? I don't know. Was it the, the fact that she was dressed on a corn of the cob that you were like, yeah, I want to get some of this? Or? I was like, that's on my bucket list. I need to <laughs> take that off. It's like a once in a lifetime yeah. thing. Not going to happen again. Okay, fair enough. Um, Chase Crawford, Street Fighter. What happened there? I played him at Street Fighter. Why? When did this happen? Just randomly, or were you just hanging out? Basically, he was uh, he was over for a friend of mine's um, music festival, and um, we were out in Mayfair, and then went back to my friend's house and played Street Fighter. And he kicked his ass. <laughs> Nice. Fair enough. Um, we were loving your guide to posh slang as well. Um, there are a couple of those that we thought needed a bit of explaining. Of explaining. Um, schweff. A schweff. Use that in a sentence. So, um, he's such a schweff, he spends 90% of his time trying to get action at the expense of his friends. Okay. Fair enough. Um, saucy song. Saucy song. Saucy song or sausage. Which means that's bullshit. Okay, but that's, there was, there was a hand like gesture to go with it or something? Saucy song. Okay, like that. Saucy song. So then, even if you're amongst friends, and then some, you'll say you're in a meeting, and uh, your friend is saying something which is clearly not true, um, you just go like that, or like, more like that, and then they're like... That's an insight into your business mind right there. Your code. Yeah, yeah, a bit of code. Nice, nice. Okay, um... To Made in Chelsea. Um, obviously, you've done a bit of a fair bit of love and life coaching for your friends on the show. Um, when are we going to see you going out on some dates again? Is that going to happen this series? Yes. Oh, really? Not necessarily dates, but there's certainly some love in my life in this series. Oh, really? Can you give us any hints about it? Or there's a new character coming on. Who I, uh, which is an old friend of mine, but we have uh, a, a special connection. Ooh. That's interesting. Is that going to happen soon or...? Uh, yeah, actually in the next couple of episodes. Okay. Ooh, exciting. Um, okay, um, we were quite interested in your advice for breakups as well. Um, the parting gifts with girls. Please tell us that you've actually done this. Okay, tell us, can you explain for people who haven't yet read the book about what it, what it is? Okay, yes, exactly. It's 63, breaking it up. Yeah, I thought I thought that was quite funny. Did you not think that's it funny? is hilarious? But please tell me you've actually used it. Yeah, you know I have done the W H Smith voucher. What was the girl's reaction? 
just kind of like tuck it in a pocket as she leaves. No, 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 I sent her a card. <laughs> like a thank you card. Tray cup. Not a thank you card, a, 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 an apologetic. I'm sorry. She's this if you break up on any terms, or just if you, you're dumping her? We, I always break up on happy terms. Okay. They don't like making en enemies, you know. Good advice. Okay. Um, have you ever done the one-way ticket? Just the one-year relationship? Please tell me if you have. I haven't done that. you considering it, maybe? You would do? It's always there. So watch out. <laughs> That's more of a threat. Nice. nice. Um, okay. Um, along with the new series, there's a new bromance. Yeah. You've got your three other guys coming in. There. Um, is there any rivalry Two there? Two other guys. Three other guys, you know? Andy. Oh, three other. I thought you meant like me and Proud Lock and Jimmy Yang. Yeah. No, no, you're, you're, the, you're the three, the magnificent three already. Three lost boys. Yeah, um, three. No, I love Stevie and Andy and, and Sam. I think they're really, really good, good, good guys. Okay. Did you yeah. know them already, or? I didn't know. I didn't know either of them. Uh, any of them. Um, uh, I, I, you know, they were at Leeds. Obviously, you know, I was at Edinburgh, at a slightly better university. It's not, you know, obviously we wouldn't really cross paths. Cross paths. Some different levels there. No, I'm joking. Leeds is a very good university. But are you still filming, or is the have you finished with the, the series? Uh, we are still filming. I filmed yesterday until about twelve at night. Oh. Um, we filmed my birthday party with Jamie Proudlock last night. I can't actually talk about that. Was it a good night? It was great. Apart from... I made someone cry. Oh no. Was it Jamie? No. Was it a girl? It was a girl. Is but no, I didn't make her cry because I was mean to her. I made her cry because I was honest with her. Oh. Is this like a love interest girl or a friend girl? Well, that remains to be seen. 